Hey YouTube, so we're back with Mage's Initiation and uh, it's time to take a trip down. Can you take me down to ground level? With uh, beautifully rendered animations. Or an approximation thereof. This scrap looks like it came from a poster of some kind. Did a human really commit the thefts? I should find out where this came from. Hmm. I don't seem to have a way to analyze it further. It seems like if there were going to be clues, they'd be on the ground. Where humans would have to walk rather than bird guys. There doesn't seem to be a lot of walking around here. Can you take me to Hawkane's perch? It is right above us. Hold on, and I will fly you up there. He's so agreeable. Thanks, guy. Halt, human. Chief Hawkeye desires no audience with you at this time. That's a very masculine voice. No need to ask for a lift. Yeah, you can jump it yourself. There we go. Hello again. I didn't thank you properly before. Please know I am grateful for your aid. I'm glad I could help. Tell me, is there any way to see your father? As an outsider, you will not be able to visit my father's perch without an offering of some kind. Humans are known for their tools and crafts, at least the ones you are permitted to use. Perhaps you could make something for him. What's he made by the ones we're permitted to use? Falk's perch. I am probably the first human to have seen it. I wonder if that's a comfy bed. Falk's bed, or rather, nest. Part of my mind is already, like, imagining the Rule 34. Tools for carving. Falk must be quite skilled. Falk keeps a wooden carving of a bird on his desk. It's just a block of wood. Do you mind if I take this block of wood? Go ahead. I wasn't sure how to finish it anyway. I had a feeling. It wouldn't look good in my private hall. So this is like some kind of bird themed death grinder. <laughs> I tried to make one for my father, but I am unfamiliar with the strange object in the center. A wheel? You mean the wheel? <laughs> wheel? <laughs> Never mind. Come on. Odds are Falk would not appreciate me rummaging through his personal effects. The heir himself. Painted a few years ago by the looks. Texts pertaining to Flitarian history culture, and civil duties. A cabinet rests against a boy's best friend. If I want to hit something, I'll use magic. That's a good point. All right, you win that one. A motif of four arrows. No idea what it means. They grow them straight around here. 
subtle reference there. Four candles, one trunk. Must be a common feature in these perches. Residences of the socially aloof. He's honestly got some pretty good leg power there. Halt, human. Halt, human. Okay, so... Hmm. Can you take... I expected more in the way of clues. And unless I miss something tiny, I really wasn't seeing anything. The log has been lying around for a while now. If I ever need a place to get stuck inside, no chance I could capture the beauty of this. A little cheesy, but also a little funner. The ferns must enjoy the climate of the valley. Okay, so the main thing we got was a block of wood and this torn paper. There are presumably more torn, torn papers around. The incense burner is now extinguished. These two items do nothing together. I guess we can't whittle anything yet. Can you take me back to the village overlook? Well, we know that Hawk was shot from somewhere over the mayor's house. Maybe we should go back and check that out. I'd climb it if I had a few more legs. Maybe there is more to check out up there. Rocks. Nothing special. It does feel pathy. Despite not being something we can go up. Once proud symbols of our more brazen past, these Elliport pillars have been allowed to crack and crumble. Bazoop. Seek wisdom in rumor is to find seeds among the sand. One must sift to find both. As the wheel turns, so do all upon it. Your kind have reached their apex. This is your time. Subtle hints that we're going to have a downfall soon. It collects us. Raises us. Lets us fall. Are you implying that mages will fall someday? Nothing can escape 
the wheels turn. I would be careful who I say that to. I speak only of what has been, what is, and what must be. <laughs> right. The size of a thing belies its potential. A man who minds only himself will find only himself to mind. It is often found in the words of those who crave when heard by those in need. I have learned to appreciate the company. She has much to learn, but learns it quickly. He sees value and speaks truth. I have come as I will depart, in ignorance, knowing nothing. Meaning, he's a pretty wise guy. What do we know, except what we see and tell each other? What divides a man from all he has known? Your incense burner, as promised. My humblest thanks. May you receive all the blessings your elements see fit to give. They are your elements, too. That which is mine, I have. So I thank you for <laughs> sharing yours. No access by the public. Why complicate things when one has a township to manage? I sense a certain resistance to ideas. It must have been purpose-built. The courthouse greets those who... I have not... The attack got launched from somewhere in here. Maybe someone saw something. He won't find me selling fruit on a dirt street for the rest of my life. We spend a lot of time together, for better or worse. Through my father, he's known me longer than I've known him. I used to steal from his stall when I was a child. Oh. My father had an apple orchard not far from town before an illness took him. Mother joined him last year beneath their favorite tree. I tend to their life's work when I'm not here. At least, for now. Rollum caught me one time. Rather than punish me, he helped me see the error of my ways. Now, I return the favor daily, by keeping an eye out for those with familiar intents. I guess she does look a little roguish. She didn't decide to drop the, the costume or uniform. He comes from one of the islands off the northwestern coast. He's a long way from home. Must be a difficult life, cooped up in that tower. How do you all fit in there anyway? Eh, magic. This wheel looks broken. May I have it? You wouldn't take a girl's wheel without compensation, right? What did you have in mind? Make me an offer. You'll need to be a little more generous than that. That seems a fair trade. Boyd, our barkeep, has been watering down his drinks for the non-regulars. I actually had no intention for that wheel, and then I just kind of stumbled on that. Wasteland burrower's teeth are said to contain a protein that increases crop yield when ground into a fine powder and used as fertilizer. If you make some for me, your purse will be all the heavier for your effort. Mm, sounds a little dangerous. Nothing compares to the whole Molen Islands. There is freedom there, such as most here will never enjoy. It is said that he who takes too much for himself must give it back a hundredfold. 
it is for your benefit that we endure the stillness and waiting. She reminds me of Carlin, my mate. He has never missed his share. <laughs> he talks of things one should not think about. The meat I offer is prepared with my own hands. You are a hunter then? That was my role on the islands. He just talked about freedom and then he talked about things you shouldn't think about. I'm sensing a little hypocrisy. Paradise has a price. Which is? All are equal when there are equal parts to play. I see. There were too many on your island, and you had to leave to maintain a balance? You understand. My mate will find another, and my children will grow in the freedom I once had. That's harsh. The sea gives us gifts, such as the ships that crash upon our sudden coves. Those aren't the standard attire for your people, I take it? No. When I arrived, many did not approve of my less generous coverings. Mm -hmm. They would prefer me to wear more, but these are uncomfortable enough. People here prefer to eat red meat over white. They would do better with fish. I have need of new blades for hunting. If you encounter any bandits in your wanderings, see if they can be parted from theirs. I guess that serves a dual purpose. Getting rid of bandits is always good. My family has lived in this town for many generations. Before that, we came from Marybank. My ancestors must have grown tired of river life. I don't know much more about them, except that they were bread makers even then. An inescapable tradition, you might say. And who would want to give up having fresh bread every day? Don't get me started on our noble lord. He isn't half the man his predecessor was, even if he's twice the size. That's like only 25% efficiency. At least Lord Limberley had enough care to listen to his people now and again. Miguel seldom comes out of that manner to socialize, except on occasions like King's Day. He never misses a feast. It's an honest way to make a living. I shouldn't complain. I mean, I don't. She's always known what she wants, even from an early age. There's not much to say about me. I'm a widower of four years, father of three. Just got to keep selling these rolls. He won't talk about himself much, but what he does say is always interesting. I've heard him discuss the future with some of his customers. Not a bad side business, if you ask me. Granted, the man is not without talent, though when it comes to acquiring one's wares, I'd prefer a less hands-on approach. How do you get less hands-on with me? What happened to your poster? Vandalism! Cyrus Tabin and I were discussing the incoming trade tariffs. The next thing I know, someone had come along and torn it. There's no respect for anything anymore. I blame Miguel. For a ripped poster? Why not? That reminds me. I found the strangest thing. Whoever defaced the poster dropped some sort of grooming item. Only it wasn't like anything I've ever seen. It had the handle of a comb, but in place of the teeth, it was curved like a beak. Might be useful if you had feathers, I suppose. Do you still have this feather comb? I do, but... Go on. I hate to ask, but times are tough. What with our lord raising the taxes for the fourth time this year, I was going to sell it to Si Long. Are you sure there's nothing I could do to change your mind? Well, I was deeply saddened when I saw what someone had done to the likeness of my valued customer. I mean, this good person. If you could find a way to repair the poster with the missing pieces, that would be a service beyond measure. Hmm. I forget what the poster was about. I share the gratitude many have for the work your people have done for us non-mages. Perhaps one day, uh, but forgive me, I speak out of turn. 
I was just musing, nothing more, that perhaps your kind will trust ours enough to, uh, well, make a few things. Nothing complicated, you understand? Just the odd device to... You forget yourself, Baker. I apologize. Please. Of course you are right to keep things as they are. Only misery can come of innovation and invention. I'm glad to see you have recalled your lessons. Not half as much as I. That was dark. They say Miguel is refusing to send any more envoys to the Flightarians. Something to do with cutting back on expenses. He should talk. I can see how that would ruin a friendship with your local baker. Blacksmith, might you attach this wooden wheel and metal pole so that the wheel spins freely at one end? <clears throat> I think he's waiting for me to hand over the items and pay. <clears throat> Is that a... <clears throat> Thank you, Blacksmith. Okay, so now we just need the blades slash feathers. Which, I mean, getting a handful of feathers shouldn't be overly difficult. I've heard you- You have heard falsely. I am not a seer. Then what do you tell your customers? I look to what was, and is, and see what might be. Which is? Such observations are taxing. I thought as much. I may have something to help with that. Like I said, where three men go, three souls remain. Hmm. Maybe the tavern? Watch your back out. Don't you want to get one for the road? Beat it. <laughs> it's like, uh, I did steal one of your beers. Guess I shouldn't impose on you. get those blades but they were basically feathers so I'll probably get them from Flytaria but let's check our resident air mage as well I don't have any reason to take it out best to leave it at My dear boy, you will never guess what I saw! A young Flytarian over Iganor? I must have told you. Poor brave child. Wait, you saw what happened? What? Who attacked the Flytarian boy? Why? To start a war. When? 
Soon. But I must know who. How? You could tell me. What? Who attacked the... Okay. Uh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> so we have a direct eyewitness. He's just too stupid to recount the story. Always so serious, that Varner. Gets around like he is expecting the world to evaporate at any moment. He just needs to learn a little levity. That's a great song. Who was I talking about? Varner. Oh, yes. Did you know Varner is the odds-on favorite to replace Pyrace as Firemaster? I should know. I'm running a pool. Want in? The tailor's wife locked her husband out of the house again. Probably because he didn't arrive home until just before dawn. Flume... Flarm... Phileum. Yes, that's it. Phileum. I think. He possesses a key quality of most fire mages. Overconfidence. How could anyone overlook this paradise? Without a doubt, the best of the three. All those feathers. Could you, uh, pass me a feather? My third favorite species. He will make an excellent heir. He is an heir, Jonas. And a flightless one at that. Someone attacked him and crippled his wing. That's... so that's what I saw! What? Jonas, what did you see? An arrow of flame. You mean a fire arrow? Like the town guards have? Yes, and no. This isn't getting us anywhere. Hmm. I should keep this to myself until I have a chance to investigate things further. So it might have been a fire mage attack. Who could have harmed the chief's son? I don't know. But the fiend must be found and dealt with. What if the fiend's a friend? Pardon? Hmm? Keep your head in the clouds! Might suddenly be worth it to talk to some of the fire mages. Were you looking for Varna in the sheet? So was I. It's strange. He doesn't appear to be anywhere in the tower. You wish to speak with me, initiate? Uh, if you have time. It is whether you have time. However, if you decide to spend your precious moments conversing with an old, soon-to-be-retired master, I will not stop you. He's got a cool voice. I have served this tower my whole life. Or so it seems. I have no regrets. It's got like this deep rumble on some of the words. You are lucky. There are some which are not nearly as well regulated as this one. Our order awaits you, Initiate. Be ready. Our cast includes many notable mentions. Are you interested in our history? Perhaps you might have heard of Mage Tenero, a well-remembered figure, if not well-liked. He burned down six villages out of pure enjoyment before he was caught and contained. So he was completely unstable with no moral code? Without a doubt. Yet he will be remembered all the same. The position has not yet been decided. As you have likely heard, it is down to Phileum and Varner. I will say no more. I have done all I set out to do. To ask for more seems disrespectful to my element. They are not to be questioned, only their will observed and obeyed. A thousand flasks of mage's water could not purify as well. <laughs> Tolerance goes both ways. I see greatness in you. I know you will not let your tower down. I know not where he is, 
It is unusual for Varna to depart the tower without telling anybody. May your trials... So it seems like Varna is now one of the suspects. I can't return. You did it, Dark. What of the priestess? She is as I found her. Though many would have it otherwise, you did the right thing. Let's hope so. Dark, I have been meaning to speak with you. I had a vision recently. Of me? Yes. You were tempted by a promise, though your intent was not clear. You gave into it willingly. The vision ended before I could glimpse your fate. All I am certain of is that it begins with a spilled mug. I wish I could be more specific. It's fine. I know exactly where to look. Take care. Should you follow this path, the return journey may not be so easy. So it seems like I have one more hit leading me to the tavern. One should never forget that our magic is best when it is subtle. Know this. The cooler the mind, the better the choice. It can also help you avoid a burn. <laughs> Even a sick burn. For those of us who have not trained as long, it is still possible to transport ourselves magically. There are special pillars around Iganor, placed by the masters of old. Once discovered, you will tune yourself to them and be able to return to those locations whenever you wish. The Tower of Shortshank is soon to be disbanded as there are too few new initiates to sustain it. We have been lucky here to siphon the few we have from neighboring communities. Hmm. Our mage is becoming less common. Now don't tell anyone, but I received a note from Jonas earlier. He says he wants to speak to me about a personal matter. I hope it's not his health. I do worry about him peering through that spyglass all day long, with barely a word spoken to anyone. Don't worry. He talks to himself enough to make up for it. I wonder if he's into her. Discretion is your ally, Dark. No good can come of a rash approach. What are rivers without their mountains? A proud and noble race, born from the ashes of the old world. Tread lightly in their presence. The future chief, as I understand it. A spirit from which great strength and conviction flows. May it do so in the right direction. From what I hear, they are even more dutiful and loyal than Lord Maguile's men. That's probably not saying much. I have set eyes upon it only once. It is a great privilege to be allowed even a glimpse. Jonas earned his passage, but he will not say how. Fewer have sharper eyes, save for the Flytarians. Even the shell is said to have remarkable properties. It is said, when consumed as a powder with certain rare herbs, a griffin's egg can bestow the mage with the gift of flight. At least that is what Jonas once told me. I do not know anyone who has achieved this, though. Creatures of majesty and menace in equal measure. I find they are less troublesome in the rain. Okay, so it looks like she doesn't want to give me any quest for a potion or book or something, but we should check with our friend just to make sure that we shouldn't be reading another book. should probably talk to Phileum too.
the ideal place for an earth mage who wishes to spend his life in quiet contemplation and hard study. Sounds exciting. <laughs> I think so. Sounds like a lot of visits to the library. Board has placed a protective aura over everything readable. I cannot take a single page without permission. It appears to be an incantation for growing a pine cone out of your head. Phileum won't speak to me. Maybe because I told a few dozen people that I thought Varner was a better candidate for Firemaster. Okay, let's head back out to the tavern. And then, if we don't find anything there, let's head back to the Flytarians. And... See if we can get our hands on some feathers. Then offer that to the chief and see if he'll talk to us. You know, Pug, there's something about this lad. He doesn't smell? No, that's not it. He has an air about him. Like he knows he's meant for something better. You mean like you often say when you're... Shut up, pug. Say, friend, would you care to do us a favor? We could use someone with your obvious talents. Well... He has generosity, friend. I'll tell you who has none. Hamfed. Sir Hamfed? You know him? Only by name. Do you also know he owns most of the peasants' quarter? One man with so much, with a hold on so many. It's not right. Not right at all. But Lord Maguile... Maguile doesn't care what his favourite few get up to, nor how his own citizens are treated under them. No, someone should cut that ham fed down to size. Cut him in half. Not literally, pug. Tell you what, boy. If you're interested in a job that would right a few wrongs, me is just outside of town. Hmm. Not sure how to progress the story without this, so we'll agree. Here he is! I can see that, Pug. What is this about? Justice. I don't understand. Then I shall explain. Pug? Huh? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Hamfed heard about Finn's expert skill in Demon Steel and challenged him to a game a while back. He lost, but not before betting the biggest, bluest stone you've ever seen. Size of my fist, it was. He refused to give it up, though, and with the smug grin went on his merry way. Uh, how was that? Surprisingly flawless. <laughs> Point is, that stone belongs to me. Us. Whatever. Think of the benefit to the town. That much money circulating through it. Even so, I don't see how stealing this stone from Sir Hamfed will make things right. It's still breaking the law. Let me tell you something about the likes of Hamfed and Maguile. There's a law for them and a law for us. Make no mistake. I don't expect you to understand. We're not born favored or a mage. You're on your own. We do what we have to do to protect ourselves. Hmm. Well, what do you say? All right. I'll do it. Excellent. Now, if you head into the woodlands away, you come across a stream. Behind some nearby foliage, the river deviates and supplies water to the favored quarter through a drain. Follow it back until you come to the fourth opening. It should lead directly into Hanford's backyard. He keeps what's owed to me in that mansion. I can see why you're not doing this yourself. I sent Pug, but... The hook landed on the balcony, right where it was supposed to. Pity the entire rope went with it. I forgot to hold on to the end. My informant, <laughs> a servant of Hamfed, assured me he has learned the combination and has managed to record it somewhere near his master's safe. 
I would have him steal the stone himself, but he's a little too green in my opinion. I've arranged for him to keep him fed away long enough for you to do what you need to do. Look, boy, it'll be worth your time. I promise you. Good luck. Don't forget the big blue stone. Yes, Pug, he knows that. This really does seem like more of a mission for the Perhaps experienced the thief. Perhaps the tower is training thieves. But thieving missions are kind of fun. So, even though it's hard to justify this little jaunt, it might be entertaining. These weeds look susceptible to frost. <laughs> Very susceptible. Oh. That was easier than expected. Ugh. I hope I don't regret this. That was unpleasant. It isn't far. The base of the mountains. This had better be worth my time. Valuable items, you say? What sort? All the kinds you can imagine. I already own most of them. There are those and more. Here, I brought your looking glass. Hurry it up, then. The house seems empty. That's handy. He didn't even... Like, try to come up with a good excuse or lie. I guess the other two attempted this very recently. Congratulations, Dark. You've officially broken the law. If my mentor could see me now. Though, knowing Shireen, she already has. In any case, I'll have time to feel bad about it later. Now, where can I find this safe combination code that Fen spoke of? I finally have a chance to try my talk with fish. I don't have time to talk to a fish. Oh, come on. You have the the skill that lets you talk to fish. Well, well. Sir Hamfed's greatest love, I presume. I'm not sure I'd want him gloating at me. I should disturb as little as possible. I should not cast horrible things, but they have their purpose. Why would you call a fireplace a horrible I thing? I should disturb as... They're very comfy. It appears to be a well-maintained aquarium. Even advanced water mages would have a hard time catching a fish by hand. I admire and enjoy the company of all fish, but there's something about this one. Colorful though it is, which might prove the exception. It does have big teeth. Even advanced water... Even advanced... I don't have... Come on. I don't have... I should disturb... Sir Hamfed's private chambers are so extravagant, they could pass for one of the tower's private halls. A large, elaborate wall mirror. There are some light finger smudge marks on the surface. 
but I can't quite make them out. for 50. There's nothing inside. I hope the blue stone wasn't kept here. It used to be! <laughs> See, you did have time to talk to the fish. Did you say something? Maybe. Got anything to eat? Like what? Well, let's see. I'm a stunningly expensive, equally attractive fish. To say I'm a good catch is an understatement. Are you baiting me? Not at all. But now that you mention bait, how about something with a bit of body to go with my gourmet fish flakes? I don't know why I have a worm, but... Do I look bland to you? Why would I want some ungarnished worm? Where'd it come from, an apple? Spice up Mr. Shrivel there with something to stimulate my highly refined palate and be quick about it. I'm starving. Huh. These two items... You call that fish food? That would only put the worm to sleep. These two items... Man, I don't know how to make a worm taste better. These two... <laughs> Goddamn gourmet fish. I can't use that. It's like, do I cook it? These two. What do I look like? A duck? You call the. These two... These two... <laughs> These two I... These... I mean, the subdued wasps are the only thing that These sort of makes sense. I can't hear you over the growling in my stomach. No need to open. Maybe I can go to the meat vendor? It's locked. The rear of Sir Hamfed's manor is probably worth more than all of Stupon. The rear of... I should resist leaving... probably shouldn't ask my teacher at this point, because she'll probably already know what I'm up to. She wouldn't...
Okay, so fruit's probably not what we're going for. a good fisherman, being from the Isles. Mm, didn't have anything new to say. What about you? It'd be funny to talk to the guys in the tavern and tell them what's holding me up. Watch your back, Captain. I have to. Hmm. Maybe I can buy fish fruit from the water mages. And they made me pay all that money for the mage water. Nope. She's mothered me enough over the years. Shireen, mentor, friend, and water mage. to find here. Now you know what? Maybe I can mortar and pestle something. I can't use that item there. I can't use Side worms. Why risk it? I've been too anxious to sleep lately. A shield from some defeated kingdom or other, from the days when mages were less studious. 
Someone could have told me not to bother with this until my initiation. Got all the foods and things that I could buy. Bubbles, bubbles everywhere. Huh. I didn't really expect that. I can't hear you over the growling in my... It's still lacking the secret ingredient! That's some spice! You know what? I bet Sea Long has something. I don't know why I skipped him. He's the one who's got all sorts of incenses and things. Spices. An ornate incense burner. This elaborate stall houses an assortment of interesting curios, potions, and jewelry. We might be able to find something in the wastelands, but it seems like kind of a stretch. But he wants spice. That would only put the worm to sleep. So that gives us a different sort of clue than the other ones. These two... These... These... Maybe there's some other berry we can get our hands on.
some common. It's been cut. These two act as gate. Who in their right mind would? Oh, there we go. I'm sure Falk will not mind. The feathers are not adhesive. I'll need to make them sticky. These two... The feathers are sticky now. It seems like a... kind of a waste of screaming tree sap, but... whatever, it worked. Save ourselves just a little bit of walking. Can you take me to Hawkane's perch? and present your gift. Using my son's feathers without his permission is highly offensive. I refuse your gift. Leave my perch immediately. Can I get his permission? It's best to show my respect. I was born 14 years ago, here in my mother's perch. My family has always ruled Flyteria. I wonder, though, if my people could accept a leader who cannot fly. She died six years ago. I try not to think about her, but sometimes it is difficult. There are few Flyterians my age in the valley, and they do not share my interest in what is beyond it. How old are you? Sixteen. Uh, I had hoped that, when I am of age, my father would allow me to leave the valley for a time, as he did. I doubt that will ever happen now. Why have you come here? To obtain a griffin's egg. You might find that a challenge. The Griffins are difficult to approach, and they do not trust strangers. Furthermore, my father will not allow you near them until you have gained his trust. My father is a good leader, strong, devoted, and proud. I only hope I can do him justice when it is my turn, if it is ever my turn. I wonder if those markings are drawn on or natural under his eyes. Being the they son of the chief on. is a mixed blessing. What of your father? I do not know him. At least, not anymore. I haven't seen my family for many years. That must be difficult. I try not to think about it. It is an honor to discover your chosen. Worth the sacrifice, so I've been told. They wouldn't remember me anyway. I doubt that. This is the only home I have ever known. Few Flyterians ever leave the valley. My father was one of them. 
Before she died, my mother told me of how father often left the mountains. He was different then, more curious and trusting. She told me of his adventures and his interest in the great structures which stood tall and spun with wooden feathers. Windmills? He did not know what they were called or what they were for, but they always fascinated him. I have always been interested in the human town ever since I glimpsed it from Crag Peak when I was very small. It must sound strange, but I am not angry. I know I should not have approached the town, losing a wings like your kind losing a leg. As my father says, some lessons can only be learned through the hardest sacrifice. I never imagined this, though. For letting you into our valley? It was the least I could do. If you can prove that humans are not responsible for these thefts, maybe my father will change his mind about them. You do not owe me anything, except perhaps to learn what really happened to the missing items. When you asked my father whether he had searched for the stolen property, I wondered how humans could get around unseen, unless they were mages. Oh, and water mages would be able to go invisible. You are a mage, yes? Nearly. I've heard about your kind. You are not like other humans. Could a mage have stolen those things? It is true that some can move about unseen, but those same mages could not ascend your perches unnoticed. Drop by again soon. That is a fine gift. Are those my feathers? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Do not be. My father will want to know you had my blessing to use them. Hold it still while I scratch my mark into the wood. <laughs> there. My father should approve now. He signed it with his toes. Kind of interesting. You may enter. An insightful gift. My son listens well to his father's tales. What do you call this? A windmill. Windmill. <sighs> Falk is as I was in my youth. Too much so, I think. But the past is dead, as are those who were taken from us. Only the future matters. My people will survive in spite of human and forest folk treachery. Evidence of the alleged thefts. My son has paid the price for placing trust and curiosity in your kind, and will do so for the rest of his life. I blame myself for his lack of intuition. My personal life is no concern of yours, human. Should you ever travel beyond this realm, you will find no nobler bastions of purity. The human town holds little interest to me. The only contact I have with its lord is through his envoys. As it is, we have neither seen nor heard from them in some months. To me, this indicates Megail no longer desires our protection. I wonder what they're protecting from exactly. It is home to the unclean, the cast-offs of nature. No Flyterian would ever think to nest in there. If I had the wing power, I would lead an assault on those creatures and put an end to their defiling natures for good. So it seems like if someone wanted to hide from Flyterians, they could hide there. As you can see, the evidence held to the light casts the darkest shadow over our human neighbors. Go ahead. Observe the items if you must. 
you will reach the same conclusion. Humans have been among us, uninvited, bringing nothing but ill intent. Two items of value only to humans were discovered in separate perches. Nearby was evidence of further transgression. What does it matter what was stolen? That these thefts happened at all is the most pertinent fact. If you must know, they were grooming implements, adornments, small things of that nature. And the baker already had that hair comb. The thefts occurred in separate locations. Condor can take you to those perches. Evidence. The owner was evidently a smoker, and I don't think the Flytarians have taken up such vices yet. The mouthpiece is made of brass. A leather gauntlet with brass buckles and silver studs, made for a smallish hand. Hmm. Those are both rather nice items. This depiction must hold special significance for Hawking. I don't need it. I believe it is a bath of sorts. A bird bath, to be precise. Exposure to that water is risky at best. A sundial graces the floor of Hawkeye's perch. Not even our most powerful mages can turn back time. That's good. Stories where time travel is involved get wonky. An unassuming box. Whatever it contains... A silver pot of surprises? With my luck, it contains weak old leftovers. An emerald scepter fit for a chief. I've no right... This is the Flytarian equivalent to a bed. One should never touch another man's <laughs> nest. Four candles attached to the center trunk. Probably representing the four winds. The Flytarian crest. In peacetimes or war, the sun shines on its favored flock. All right, let's see those houses where things were stolen. Can you take me to the perch where the smoking pipe was found? It's a bit simplistic in design. Perhaps the thief knocked this candle down while fleeing. Another scrap of that poster. I'll keep it with me. Standard perch lighting. It's locked. Chances are the owner has the key. No matter. A quaint tea set for two. I am not a huge tea drinker. You can take the bird out of the nest. The Flytarians are a literate species. Incredible! A book you can take without getting mm -hmm. magically eliported to your private hall. A small holding box sits atop the entryway shelf. I didn't come here to collect random keepsakes. And yet we have a new candle. Can you take me to the perch where the studded gauntlet was found?
None of these items points to anything suspicious. I wonder how many pieces of torn paper it's we'll locked. need. Chances are... Some scraps of half-eaten fruit... The Flytarians are not vegetarians. These scraps of fruit must have come from produce outside of the valley. Hmm. Not even sure what I want to boost right now. The Flytary. I'll get into combat again and see what I need to boost. Reminds me of one of Bort's less amusing quips. A home without flora is not flora me. <laughs> None of these items. These depictions, while skillfully painted, someone took the. I guess I didn't actually pick up fruit scraps. The Flytarians are... The trunk carries on. Uh well, we know it was someone who visited the marketplace. That's pretty clear. I'll just let him know I left instead of dipping out from inside the room and leaving him thinking that I was in there for quite a while. in the Flytarian village from my stall you say yes they were spread across the floor at the scene of a theft I am short a few apples and a banana but I'd wager it was those children who like playing nearby they're certainly fast may I take a closer look they went missing from the crate behind me these are the wares of the fruit these something it the fruit scraps in the flytarian perch likely came from here might this brass button have come from the flytarian village somehow You can find a way to repair the poster with the missing pieces. I... These two... Should check the wastelands. And that'll give me that combat I was wanting. Just to see where to allocate points. Let's 
check out that tree. I know, maybe the dinosaur. This seems odd. I mean, there was a monster here, right? Then he just decided it was cool. <laughs> If there is one cut oh. That's a lot of enemies. how potent this storm was. Not enough mana! It's starting to look like I need more strength. Because these guys... Don't really feel like going down. There's no loot. There's no. What little it has left? The skeletal remains of a large animal. The brittle bones are little more than sand to be. That new spinel. Mm, can stay as it is. Although plus two strength is nice. The trees were an Earth Mage's attempt to reintroduce life to the wastelands. The latter won. I see no point. The plants are the brittle bone, the tree, I see.
Another fool who wandered too far, believing himself capable of crossing the wastelands. If there is... They would be... T I can't use... Hmm. I wonder if it's worth it getting up to that skeleton. Oh, hey. This area looks more interesting. The larger of... The few plants are... The plants are... There's like tracks here. The Red Baron Plain... You're not gonna pay attention to the tracks. The bandits who roam this area... The larger... We're heading back. What's up with that burrowing thing? It won't... A dead end. Hmm. That certainly feels like we're just missing something. See much if I drink it all here. I'm glad it doesn't let me waste my last dose of that. There is nothing out here. A chasm deep. I don't wonder what's causing those crazy chasms. Look 
Looks like we can just spam this indefinitely with no mana restriction. My basic attack. The bandit has met his end here. Had like no mercy for that guy. Oh wait, that was something. The wastelands have claimed the wasteland. You're not, you're not gonna notice his like golden. Maybe it's just a snake and not a golden armband. His last words were. not really specific enough to help me find my way to that guy. There's nothing to be gained. The waste. Hmm. It's so distinct, but can't interact with it. I can't. A dried out pool with a dark. I can't use that up. It's rock solid. It's rock. I should not. I wonder what that dry pool is. I was thinking it was tar, but it seems like maybe it's not. If it's rock solid. So it's more like obsidian or something. I wonder if that was on my map. Nope, not really. Uh oh, Got a little crowded in here. Bye guys. Okay, I'm gonna try grinding up one of those bones in my mortar and pestle.
just to see if the fish wants like bone meal for a spice. Or maybe some arachnid poison. Although that uh might not help me get information out of him. I can't you These two mm. Nope. Okay. Then all I've done is grab some extra gold. Mana always goes back to 10, which kind of reduces the value of increasing it beyond, or much beyond 10. Money's back to a good position. He likely Many thanks to you. May you be ten coins the richer. I wonder if that's even a fair price for a sword. It seems like a sword should go for more than, like, three or four oranges. But who knows? It's like, are you sure you don't have any spices? That's why it's good. just have to give up some of my other gems for it. Okay, let's talk to the flight herons again. Hmm, chill and hail work well together. Can you take me to Falk's Perch? It's... When you asked my father whether he had searched for the... Drop by. Strange. 
I've seen something like that in my cousin's perch. Pecon found it there two days ago. We thought it might be a coin of some sort from your town. You didn't mention this to your father? It did not seem important. I mean, nothing was stolen. I should take a look anyway. Can you direct me to your cousin's perch? Of course. It is on the western side of the valley. Pecon is visiting the Sharpstone Mountains today, but I can permit you entry. Ask Condor. He knows the way. It's always weird how in games the thief will leave like an incredible trail of clues. It's like, how can you be a thief when you're that bumbling and losing things everywhere? Can you take me to... Scattered breadcrumbs. These breadcrumbs may have come from the market quarter, just as the fruit scraps did. I was really hoping you would pick up the breadcrumbs. I can't use that. These scratch marks are too small to belong to even a Flitarian child. Curious. Relatives? Local historical figure? Relatives? A chest can... There appear to be limited options when it comes to... Oh, there we go. That one took a second longer to find. I can admire a good view. Condor will just have to wonder what's up. Or maybe you heard me casting. So anyway, I'm pretty sure that it was a human, and it was one of the baker's patrons. The pieces came from the torn pot. There is already a. Thank you. It's heartening to find that there are still decent folk left in the world. I think that's worth more than coin. I've no idea how valuable this feather comb is. Still, it's yours if you want it. I can't imagine how my bread could wind up in the valley. I thought all Flitarians were meat eaters. Don't tell me you... I have many items for piercing, and even provide such a service. The pain is minor when you consider the lifelong benefits. Is he talking about tattooing? It wasn't designed to brush human hair. Hmm. Let's see what Falk thinks of this. It's like you again. Can you take me to Falk's perch? Where did you find that? 
in Ignor's market quarter. That's more than a little odd. I recognize the markings on the handle. They belong to the widow Parla, but she's been sequestered in mourning for the past month. I imagine you still wish to visit her perch, though. You imagine correctly. Condor can fly you there. They're awfully generous with Condor's time. But he seems very dutiful. Can you take me to the perch of the widow Parla? Never complains. Just sets about it. He is extremely good at what he does. Carry me. Where are you, my darling? I wait for you. There you are. What have you brought for me today? Oh, thank you. I know you love me, but you must stop bringing <laughs> me these trinkets. Where do you get them from? It is not safe, my darling, especially not now. I would never tell anyone it was you. It will always be our secret. We are good at keeping secrets, are we not? No one will ever know who you really are. I'm not sure what I just watched there. I should not disturb Parla until... It is the magpie I saw in Parla's perch. I don't speak its language. Follow that magpie! Oh. Just kinda hoping you would bring me too. I'll just sit here. <laughs> the magpie flew to an outcropping in the mountains. The smell of the area prevented me from investigating further. I can take you there, if you like. Oh, uh, sure. Why did it smell so can bad? Can you take me? Or good. <laughs> if you thought you'd get thrown off your job if you kept smelling such a good thing. According to Condor, the stench from within the cave is too strong for him. Funny, I can't smell anything. The silhouette of a battered brass lantern The wick is dry, but I can't light the lamp because the flint is missing. I can't use... Hmm. Well, I definitely don't have flint. Using a candle to light the lantern might be a good idea if the candle were lit. Alright. Except your wink wink nudge nudge. Hopefully the same fire that worked for the incense burner works here. I don't see why it wouldn't. My candle is now burning.
Can you take me to the outcropping? Hmm. That was a new animation. The missing envoys, I presume. The burns suggest they were killed by flame projectiles, like the one that struck Falk. Lord Megyle's guards may have been ordered to assassinate them, but for what purpose? Furthermore, why leave them here? And how did the perpetrator move them up here without being noticed? The plot there thickens. is another more disturbing possibility which I had better keep to myself for now. That the mages were trying to start a war between the humans and the Flytarians? Well, not humans, you know, but ungifted. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't ready for this. Like, let's just have none of that. I feel fresh, magical energy coursing through me again. Let's buff up my constitution a little bit. I'm feeling fine at the moment. I have a feeling I'm gonna die here. rates are really tough. Oh, okay. So they like the dark. Can you take me to... Halt, human. Chief of... Drop by. Hmm. So what do we do now?
Can you take... There is no draft. too tough to beat. I could beat one of them maybe, but three of them's totally out of the question. entirely sure what my next step should be. May your try It can talk. The sphere has not judged me ready to Talk to people about a big old pile of corpses. I wonder when someone's going to uh, accept some new dialogue. Is your a proud? I am not familiar with her. I should choose. Ki you could be a better person to talk to than your mentor. Yes, someone who will not remember what you've said and can't reveal it to anyone else. Without a doubt, th they can be quite rude if you have the gift of their gab. What else can you expect from foreign birds? My third favorite sp I do not think I have had the pleasure. Keep your head in the- Alright, that wasn't useful. Maybe I can talk to my friend. How can I help? They build their... No idea who that is. I should consider carefully who I talk with about that. Perhaps he's being overly careful about who he talks to about that. No app. I sense. A missing person poster.
The last thing I need is a swag. something. Watch your back out. Vines persist along the town walls. They're too clingy for a chat. It's not my job to clear them. These two... These two... These two... Come on, you don't want some Salisbury stick? bit stumped for now. I think I'll call the episode here. I'll see you guys later. Hope you had fun. I know I did. Be good. Okay, so uh, I've decided to try and fight my way through these guys, even though it's going to be pretty rough. Um, I think I have a way to cheese them, so we'll see. Focus on Greeny, because uh, his root is probably the most effective. Like um, control spell out of the three. The controls are giving me some issues there. seem to be able to swap my spells quickly like I was before. <laughs> if I nick myself a blizzard, it's pretty much all over. Try just a traditional nuking. <laughs> Let's see what his health is when I walk back in. Okay, so I totally have to finish them off before I leave. Well, one at a time at least. Keeping those auto saves of when I'm not at full health. Awesome. So I need to go back a step and make sure I create a real save.
Can you take... This is a pretty brutal fight. Not enough mana. Yes. It's going to involve a few tries. Not enough mana. Not right. enough. Not enough. That is missing. Just die. <laughs> okay, now let's see if he comes back. Let's save again. Even though those potions are awfully expensive. Twenty mm, percent health sounds cool. I'm gonna try this shard for a little bit. Yeah, I'll let them beat the health out of me and then I'll try it. So I lose almost nothing. Definitely have better AI than most of the enemies, since they're able to uh, move when I cast the AoE spell. Didn't I focus the Earth Race last time? I was trying to get rid of those roots. Seems to have gotten into the Earth Wraith's way. Yeah, you can't shoot through that guy. Seemingly. He's getting healed. What a pain in the dick. <laughs> yeah, the Earth Wraith is definitely the highest priority.
Slowed down isn't joy right either. Not enough mana! <laughs> Not enough mana! suppress both of them. Temporarily. Maybe I should go even harder on my mana potions. So much chance to Not attack enough back. <laughs> Not enough mana. Not enough mana! He's healing himself too. Not enough mana! Such a fuck to get rid of. <laughs> oh, that's so irritating. I guess I should have just played an Earth Mage. Clearly the most dangerous. harder. My damage or your heals. And I don't think they have any mana limit. Okay. 
Not enough mana. So I can interrupt his casting by putting Blizzard on him, which allows me to kill this guy. is healing. I was actually hitting the wall. And this is the perfect spot to be. I don't know how much EXP I got, but it wasn't enough. The dead envoy's clothing is ripped to shreds. Two missing brass buttons have been torn from his doublet. So that's where those other two buttons came from. From all the frost around him, he looked like he was killed by a water mage. Frost around him too. This envoy wears a single gauntlet. Matching the one I saw in Hawking's perch. So they were definitely just used as decoys. I mean, uh, red herrings. Oh, this guy's a mage. What is this? A conductor? It's like mine, only it has a stylized symbol on it. Two half circles slid apart along a dividing line. I have found out all I can. I need to see Hawking. Looks like I don't get a say in that. You have shown perseverance in your search for the truth. Most surprising for a human. You have also brought proof that these thefts were but the acts of a mere magpie and its misguided caretaker. Guard, bring her in. I wonder if they bring in the magpie. You summoned me, noble Hawking. Your magpie is responsible for the recent plight surrounding our missing property. Failure to disclose this almost edged us into war. My darling is innocent. I know him better than you know your own son! Claw carefully, Parla. While every soul of flight may expect our care, your pet is just that, and no more than a scavenger. You will not speak about my husband that way! <laughs> your husband? <laughs> Parla, your husband is dead. Like my wife. While we both feel their loss still, there is no returning from the higher world. But he has come back to me. I knew it the day he died, when I first saw my beloved in his new form. <sighs> we have heard enough. Guard, return her to her perch, and keep watch lest her pet return to cause more mischief. Do not hurt my darling! He must not be kept from me! 
poor crazy lady. It appears you were right, and that my son's trust was well placed. Falk grows quickly, something I have overlooked in seasons past. He has coped with the dishonor dealt him better than I could have expected. He will succeed you admirably when his day comes. No small impairment can change that. I will tell him you said so. Perhaps I have been too hasty to judge the humans we have protected so long. The discovery of the envoys changes everything. Their disappearance was clearly not my people's doing, though some in Iganor may believe otherwise. Yet I do not comprehend why humans would kill their own in such a manner. I don't believe the assault on Falk was motivated by mislaid revenge. Yet I am sure it is related somehow to the envoy's demise. A lot of trouble has been taken to break your long-held alliance. It almost succeeded. The nature of their deaths also disturbs me. For reasons, with your forgiveness, I do not wish to discuss. I promise you, Chief Hawkane, to find out all I can as soon as my remaining tasks are completed. Once initiated, I will have greater authority to investigate on your behalf. I would be grateful That's for that. That's a political way Is to put that. Is there anything I can do to expedite proceedings? Yes. My master sent me to collect a single griffin's egg. Can you help me? Hmm. I can tell you where to find the griffins. They nest in the mountains west of here and are difficult creatures to approach, let alone take something from. Avoid detection when approaching the nests. Conceal yourself whenever possible. If you should be seen, you can expect an aggressive response. Act as some of our lesser kindred. Duck. Also, know that harming them or their unhatched young would do great dishonor to my people. If you are ready, my guard will take you to the Griffin's nests. Farewell. Goodbye, Chief Hawkane, and thank you. One last thing, human. These eyes see more than your kind could ever hope to behold, and see more still when they look upon yours. Hunger is a trait common upon many, for what one wants and cannot have. Be wary of such desires. As we say, to prey upon more than a talon's share is to lose sight of one's horizon. Thank you, Chief Hawkane. Interesting last words. Well, not last words, but you know, farting words. Hopefully not last words. Can you take me to the Griffin nesting grounds? Meet me on the western plateau once you have the egg. <laughs> Your knee doesn't want to stick around for this. He's like, boy, you just, you're gonna die. Take me from off screen like that.
Bye. There we go. out of here. Damn it, got greedy. Whoops. See if I can take the broken eggshell. I think that's the nobler choice. King, the invincible strategy. This griffin's egg is just an empty shell. Uh, now you tell me? Now you tell me. <laughs> what BS. Take the immaculate one with no no scratches. Let's see if he sees me if I'm in the tunnel. Oh. The answer is yes, definitely. I should wait for the griffin to fly back this way. <laughs> sure, whatever. One more mission complete. He said something, but like normal, if they say something as soon as I enter a screen, I miss it.
You have succeeded a second time, Initiate Dark. It is evident that your mentor's faith was not misplaced. Your compassion and diplomacy will hold you in good stead with the Flytarians for many years to come. Yeah. The Griffin's egg, as precious and sacred as that which Mother did, will be returned to its keepers at the conclusion of your trial. Care for it well. It is time to look to the forest where your most difficult and dangerous task lies waiting. Let your element guide you. Oh yeah, I'll just look at the water walk through. I came like you asked, Pug. What is this all about? I, uh, wanted to introduce you. This is... Names are not important at this time. Please, sir, sit. Have a drink. Is that milk? No. <laughs> what is this, then? Want to know how real men have a good time? Ah! Oh, the ale's boiling! Ooh, so it is. Let me pour you another. A good time, you say? I would think you've more pressing priorities. Such a regrettable history deserves recompense. Do you not think? What do you know about me? Only what your friend Pug here has said. Pug? Really? I wish they just hadn't had animated scenes if they were gonna look this bad. One who has lost much to the likes of Ignor's Lord. As you seek in vain to recover a life taken from you, a gambler in you senses his chance. Change rises like smoke from a smoldering ruin. Tell me, how much would you risk for a change, say, of occupancy in the Lord's Mansion? Ha! Talk is fine, but it makes no difference. The King chooses his Lords. Such choices can be reneged, especially when said lords become unpopular. Have you not heard of the rumors? About Maguile making friends with those forest cretins? Sounds like something he'd do. Risk his people's lives by letting those things in town, just to get hold of whatever they've got stashed away. Greed is among your kind's greatest traits. And I hear he's planning to sever ties with the mountain folk. Who will protect us, then? Not you mages, that's for sure. Ah, but like yourself, I have a greater interest. Revolution. What's in it for you? Let us say, personal satisfaction. Accept this as a show of good faith. We have a deal in the interest of change. That's a lot of change. Sure, why not? <laughs> he probably could have bought his services for less than that. It's getting late, and I still need to collect that trinicorn horn from the forest and return to the tower before sunrise. Time to revisit the Sphere of Knowledge. Dark, I hear you have completed the second of your trials. Congratulations. Thank you. I guess I should end the recording here and then start the third trial in the next clip. So, hope you guys had fun. I know I did. Be good.